Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for being here. Thanks for checking in. Well, let's get right into it. I have been dying to review an item like this. I mean, I really have. I sit here... And, you know, yeah, I try the pizzas, and I try the burgers, and the chicken items, and the things that it's even debatable if they could even be classified as food or not. And, you know, some of them might be good, some of them might be bad, but I sit here, and I wait. And I wait. And you know what? I'm going to admit to you right now, every review that I have done for probably the last eh, 11 months or so, I've just been buying time. I've just been buying time because, you know what? Fast food fish sandwich season is back, and uh, boy, I can't wait for it. Yeah, that was um, dripping with sarcasm. I mean, the fish sandwiches, they're not my favorite thing, admittedly, but I'm willing to give, it a, give them a try. Some of them are better than others, and uh, we will see. A, a question, though, is uh, does anyone, is there anyone out there that really gets excited for the fast food fish sandwiches? Because to me, they always seem like something where it's it's like, all right, yeah, whatever, you know, Wendy's released a fish sandwich, I don't care. Or, um, you know, Popeye's did this, that's fish, who cares about fish? Uh, that just seems to be the impression that I get from it. This one, though, on the other hand, despite my obvious lack of enthusiasm, uh, did kind of, you know, it, it caught my interest. Because this isn't any fish sandwich, okay? It isn't even any Popeye's fish sandwich. You know what this is? It's a fish sandwich with pickles. And spicy sauce. That's right. Popeyes has released a spicy flounder fish sandwich. I believe last year I tried out the regular flounder fish sandwich, which was, it was like, all right, I, I didn't have anything good or bad to say about it, pretty much. But, um... This is their spicy flounder fish sandwich. It's available at the price of $4.49, so it can be slightly more expensive. Depending on your location, I paid, for instance, $5.49 uh, for this fish sandwich. And it comes with wild-caught flounder. Uh, apparently, it's actually what they call um, parking lot flounder. And that's a certain style of the fish. You could look that up. But... Uh, Wild-caught flounder. The flounder is seasoned with Cajun seasonings. It comes with pickles, but then, and this is where it gets real, this is where it gets real interesting, because I know, like, right now, you know, you're on the edge of your seat like this, and you're about to fall off on the floor. And uh, you may just well, so just brace yourselves. It normally comes with tartar sauce, and you could still get it with that. But this one... This one comes with spicy sauce. I believe the same spicy sauce that's used on their spicy chicken sandwich. And also, it's on a brioche bun. I know, you're on the floor right now. Injuries sustained, perhaps. But think about that brioche bun and the spicy sauce. Well, wasn't, wasn't that worth it? Well, it's worth $5.49, or perhaps $4.49, so there's your answer. All right, the spicy flounder fish sandwich. I'm just kind of sitting here trying to make a fish sandwich review interesting. Popeye's bag. I got it delivered, but it just got here. It was all set up before then. This says Cajun flounder sandwich. There I am with the Popeye's bag. We've got some Cajun instruments. There's the tuba right there. And... Um, we got a soccer ball over there, too. And, uh, what else do we have? That's an electric guitar. Oh, this is cool, actually. You know, I'll give him credit for this. Comes in a special little bag. Look at that. The fish sandwich. I do like... The branding and packaging, admittedly. It's actually cool. You know what? I'll, I'll give them credit for that. Even if I'm not a big fish sandwich person, 
Credit where credit is due. I, I like this. I, I actually do. There's a little, look at that, a little fish right there on the bag. <laughs> this is cool. The fish sandwich. That's nice. Get a thumbnail right here. Like that. I think people would probably care more about this than the sandwich itself, quite frankly. Because sometimes people, they like their branding. That's true. Sorry to waste your time with this. Thumbnails, no one will watch the video otherwise, so you gotta, you gotta do it. Alright, anyway, I've been here doing this enough, so let's open this up. Break it out and take a look. There it is. And I will take it out here so you can get a better look at it. All right, so there's the, the blessed flounder. There's the spicy sauce. Looks like they kind of gave it a little light on the sauce, if I must say so myself. Ah, but look, we've been taken by surprise. More sauce and those pickles. So we've got some spicy sauce on it at least. All right. I'm going to make sure I get some bites in right here so you could definitely see the spicy sauce. I'm going to get one quick thumbnail in case the one of the bag doesn't work out. Something like that. All right, good enough. You know what it looks like. You know everything there is to know about this. You even know about this sandwich is uh, lost times in Vegas and all that good stuff. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's dig in. The Popeye Spicy Flounder Fish Sandwich going in. We'll take one more bite. Not a fan. I'm not a fan of this one, and the reason is quite simple. Um, the spicy sauce just doesn't work with the fish. It, it, it just doesn't. Um, I remember the last time I tried this, kind of mentioning, I believe, the tartar sauce, and how, you know, it kind of balanced out this very, um, very oily and, you know, heavily breaded, uh, fatty, fast, f fatty, fast food fish sandwich and um this on the other hand it, it, it just doesn't all right here's here's the thing at least the flounder itself what flounder there is wasn't um it wasn't a floundering effort the flounder itself was okay in that flounder is supposed to be a very inoffensive fish and uh you know, what is there anyway is, is very light, it's very flaky, you know, pretty inoffensive, all things considered. Um, but still, it's a fish patty. You have to remember that. 
The ratio of the fried breading to flounder, on the other hand, look over here, for instance. There's more breading right there than there is fish. Now, over here, the balance is a bit better, but, um, I mean, you could definitely see in this part of the sandwich, and there were certainly bites that I took where it was like, I bite in, and I'm wondering, where is the fish? I believe even the first or second bite that I took, it was just a mouthful of just this oily, oily fatty uh, breading, and no real fish there. All right, now that's a complaint that I could have in and of itself, even if there was no sauce on the sandwich. But then you factor in the namesake, the spicy flounder sandwich, right? It's going to be spicy, and already I was kind of sitting there, and I was thinking, I wasn't going to say this in the review, but I was thinking to myself, um, I don't know how they're going to make this work. Maybe they will, but I don't really see how. The spicy sauce, I mean, there is spice to it. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I almost guzzled this down, and... That sauce, it, it does pack a punch. Problem is, though, is that this spicy sauce, that it actually works very well with the uh, spicy chicken sandwich, the creamy spicy sauce. Um, yeah, it does a good job for that, for chicken. But using that same sauce for fish, on the other hand, it doesn't work. It clashes completely. You notice it immediately. The sauce, again, it does not work with this sandwich, which also has a little bit of a, of a fishy note to it, which, even though it is fish, that's not what you want to see also. That's another thing. Um, so it just doesn't go. It just doesn't work. It completely clashes. It doesn't taste good. Um, Popeyes, they do chicken well. I like their chicken. I usually don't really have any any problems with it. It's, it's pretty good for what it is. Their chicken sandwich, of course, iconic. And even some of their shrimp. Now, that's hit or miss, but some of the shrimp that they do... It's actually pretty, it's pretty good. Um, but this sandwich, on the other hand, it just isn't it. I, I appreciate what they did trying it out um, with the spicy sauce, but it doesn't work, it doesn't taste good, and all you're going to notice is, yeah, this sauce doesn't go with it at all. And uh, that's a major problem. So the pickles are just kind of there. The tanginess is, is nice, but it, there's just too much. It's just too much that it doesn't offset anything. Uh, I would say if you really want to get the fish sandwich from Popeyes, go with the original flounder sandwich. Avoid the spicy one because you're just going to be disappointed. The spicy sauce doesn't work. It clashes with it. And also there's those issues that I mentioned with the uh, chicken, or not the chicken, I'm so used to reviewing chicken sandwiches, the uh, flounder patty to begin with. So therefore, I mean, this is just a waste of $5 here. So out of 10, definitely a disappointment. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 10. Um, there really isn't a lot that I could really compliment this on. Uh, actually, I'm going to even lower this. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10, because when I mentioned that, I was thinking, what even is there to compliment it on? I guess the pickle was all right, and uh, the bun was okay. So I'll give it a 2 out of 10, the uh, spicy flounder fish sandwich. Not a fan. Go with the original, or maybe just get some chicken from Popeye's next time you go. That's all that I have for you. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Until next time.